Billboard Hector Longo here at Gillette Stadium. Post game after the Patriots destroyed, end up destroying the Kansas City Chiefs. We weren't saying this at halftime, but they destroyed them 34 to 3, at least in the scoreboard. Uh, interesting game, in fact, it, not interesting game, interesting the way it developed, though. Uh, Kansas City looked like they put up a fight in the first half and really were, were uh, easy fodder in the second half. Uh, Brady got better, it looks like at the end of the first half. Gronkowski had a big game. They ran the ball a little bit. Uh, I don't know what. What do we take out of this game? Patriots destroy Kansas City without Matt Castle. Uh, it's kind of a held serve, Bill. You know, the home game, you have to win this game. Honestly, I didn't think it mattered if you won 12 to nothing or 35 to 3 or whatever the final score was here. I think they took care of business, like you said, which is, which is a good sign. I mean, it wasn't a blip. 15 years ago, during the blood story, we might have called this a trap game, and they might have got caught up in that trap. Trap games have disappeared here. Yeah, there's no such thing, they, really. No, they've disappeared here. They take care of business. So I kind of, you have to be happy with that, that they still can do that. Look, the secondary is what it is. When they get good play from the defensive ends, like they did tonight, again, for the second straight week, from Carter and Anderson, the secondary's um, uh, mistakes or their, or their inability is kind of wiped away. Those ends kind of make it tougher on opposing quarterbacks. Still, it's Mark Sanchez last week, Tyler Pelko this week, probably Vince Young next week. I do say, I, I wrote about this in my column in uh, the, the Tuesday Eagle Tribune, that, uh, you know what, I look at this as a week to just get better. And uh, you have to say, I, again, it's, it's Kansas City. They move the ball a little bit, which seems to be, everyone seems to move the ball in the team. But in the end, they only scored three points. And Arrington, I know we joke about Kyle Arrington, but he looked, he's, he's looking like he's a solid corner. I'm, I'm not going to say good, um, but I'm going to say solid because he's, go there yet, he's the lead guy right now on this team, and he's going to be the secondary both guy. Both of those guys were picks. Both of those picks were, were drops. They were in a receiver's hands and batted up in the air. I mean, I, look, there's no masking that the Patriots can't cover anyone. Bill Belichick. In the middle of the field. It's, Bill, it's, Bill it's, Belichick it's has done a nice job trying. He really is. The scheme's up front. They got they got to these guys with four. So that's what you have to do. You have to rush to pass it with four. Right. And they've done that the last couple of weeks. But we're talking uh, Chung comes back. Spikes comes back. You could argue Spikes is their best linebacker. And uh, and then you get McCourty. And then, uh, look, I'm not going to put any guy, any of those in the Pro Bowl because I don't think any of them are Pro Bowl players. But they're three of the better players definitely in the back seven of, on this team. Sure, yeah, no, absolutely three of the, the best in the back seven, and, but you don't know when they're going to come back and how effective they're going to be when they come back. See, the one thing we got to look at now is the slow climb towards January, and can this offense be good enough, and can this be very good, and can this defense be average? they got I, a lot of tune-ups along the way here. Right. A lot can, of tune-ups. Can they be average? Yeah, that's all you need. If that offense is playing at its best, Average is all you need. I believe Belichick right now, uh, not now, but he'll be in tomorrow morning, he puts in about 30 minutes on looking at Green Bay film, planning for that <laughs> miracle win in, in February in Indianapolis. Uh, you know, they look like they're unbeatable. You've got to get by Tebow first. Well, Tebow <laughs> is another issue. Hector's got this thing on Tebow beating uh, beating Brady. It's a, it's a topic for another day. That's it for now. Follow us at www.eagletribune.com. We'll have updates. We'll have uh, reviews, previews. Uh, next week's game with Philly could be an interesting one in Philadelphia. Uh, 4 o'clock game on Sunday. We'll preview it on, uh, on the website. Take care.